Hey guys, recently I bought a bunch of empty tube boxes and took all my pulled tubes from TVs over the years and tested them and put the good ones in the boxes and labeled them. And at the time it seemed like a good idea to put them into big cardboard boxes like this, but in practice it's a real pain to find the tubes I'm looking for. I don't have any markings on the boxes as to what tubes are in each box, so I just have to go digging through them and there's several layers deep and so on, so not very practical. So what I've been doing is hunting around for tube caddies. A tube caddy is uh, something that looks kind of like a suitcase, but is especially designed to house tubes. out of the way. There we go. So on this side it's designed to house the octal tubes and on this side is the miniature seven and nine pin tubes and down here are the larger tubes. Now this tube caddy in particular came with a bunch of tubes in it. I was kind of hoping to find some useful tubes in it but uh, it turned out that I actually have very little use for most of these tubes. A lot of them are from series strung sets where there's no power transformer. They have kind of oddball filament values like 3 volts and 5 volts. Uh, so what I think I will do is pull out the tubes that I'm not likely to ever use, put those in the box and put the more useful tubes in here. I also picked up this nice little RCA guy and I'm going to put the most commonly used tubes in here and uh, more specifically tubes that have tested out really really good like new old stock tubes so when I first work on a set I'll use these known good tubes now today in the mail just a little while ago this box showed up and what's in here I believe is another tube caddy that came with a bunch of tubes that I uh, I don't know what kind of tubes are in the tube caddy but I'll keep my fingers crossed that there are some good usable tubes in there and here it is it's got kind of a faux alligator skin finish on it so the Raytheon television and radio tubes kind of an in-between size it's a little bit bigger than this RCA but not as big as this full-size tube cat. So, let's see what's inside. Packed full of goodies. Alrighty. Well, right off the bat I can see some good tubes in here. 6SN7, the audiophile vintage guitar ramp guys. It'd really go crazy for these and uh, makes it really tough for TV guys because we need them too. And there's two of them. Ooh, and a 7C6. That's a uh, kind of hard to find Loctal tube that uh, is used in uh, some Filco radios like the two Hippo radios that I have. In fact, one of them, uh, this tube was bad and it took me a little while to track one down. Some other Loctal tubes. 7x7, I think I need that for the Filco 491040. Alright, let's see. Here's the bigger tubes. Oh, 6BG6. Always need these. That's a horizontal output tube in a lot of vintage sets. That's what drives the flyback that makes the high voltage. Oh, there's a Type 42. It's a nice uh, vintage uh, audio output tube. Need one of these in the uh, Filco 60 I picked up recently. Y6, I think that's an audio output tube. And a bunch of little guys. Just like in the other box, there's a bunch of oddball two uh, filament, a bunch of oddball filament tubes like 4 volt, 2 volt, 3 volt. Don't need any of these, but uh, let's see, 6AG5, I need tons of those in my sets. It's another one. 6AU6, I need lots of those too. I think there's like seven or eight of those in the GE810 I've been working on. Horizontal damper. 
There's a high voltage rectifier, 1V3. There's another one, always need those. Let's see what we've got inside here. 50C5, it's an audio output tube used in a lot of All American 5 radios. There's 686. And there's a little side compartment here. I haven't seen one of these before. I guess the old leather strap uh, wore away long ago. Oh, just got more tubes on the side. So, all in all, not too bad a haul. 6J6, that's a oscillator mixer tube used in a lot of TV sets. Likewise, 12AT7, those are always good to have. Alright, so, I'm going to spend some time going through these tubes and all the boxes of tubes I got and uh, pull out the best one and organize these tube caddies but all in all it looks like this was a pretty good buy plenty of tubes in there I can use so if you're ever at a garage sale or flea market and you see something that looks like a suitcase it might be worth your while to pop it open and take a look inside because you might find some highly desirable vintage vacuum tubes